almost see the formation where the delicate arch, scorpion arch, or Arizona arch is located. Notice the granite outcropping in the center right side of your screen. It rained recently and that's kept the dust down a lot. I just passed a truck and very little dust off the back of it. So. Here we see a valley of saguaro cactus. And one of the hints on the location is that this is where the saguaro cactus and the Joshua tree coexist. Demarcation of the Mojave Desert versus the Sonoran Desert where the two different lives come in contact. Nice granite rock formations are starting to show out here. Now we're starting to see the very small yucca, Joshua tree yucca, and there's saguaro. There's the start of Joshua tree, and right next door. So here's the first real clue. It's a place where Joshua tree meet the saguaro cactus. And they wow, the road surface is really great so far. I know we have to turn off within a mile to the left and hit some rougher road, but so far everything has been very nice. Take a left here at the Y. But as we come up to the second Y, you'll make a right. Veer to the right here. And clean your windshield or the autofocus won't work. All right, it's starting to get a little technical. This is a wash, of course. So the 392 is in its element and you can see coming up too, there's quite a few ruts. This is the first sign your average streetcar wouldn't make it, but I guess you could actually hike from here too. It's not that far. We're very close and the road, except for here, has not been bad, but if you've got a Rubicon, this is nothing. I have not aired down, I don't have lockers applied, and I haven't even disconnected the sway bar. So, up, up, and away. Another rut, descent, and slam. Slowly, we're out of there and along the road. And I always could air down my tires if I wanted to or disconnect the sway bar, but we'll just go a little slower. As you can tell, my window. <laughs> I just filled up with gas 40 miles ago and cleaned the windshield and the bugs in the area are out. It's starting to be a springtime here in the desert even though. All right, the washes are getting technical. That's fun, kind of fun for us now. Let's see if we film it at the same time. I may have to get out and clean that windshield. The rest of the river bottom is sandy. Here we have a wilderness area display. And we'll be turning to the left at the next turn off to head uphill of the arch. We're very close. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is no problem if you have a Rubicon. Tire placement has been somewhat critical. Not that bad, very fun, beautiful day. Really enjoying it. So anybody that knows the rock, the arch telltale signs is that rock grouping right over there. Samaro cactus. Lining our trail. Palo Verde trees, scratching my paint. <laughs> I have ceramic coated, so it sounds bad, but actually when they slip off, that ceramic coating protects the paint. And they do make that sound, but there is no scratching. Ah, uh, here's a deep ford. We gotta go through and hit it at the right angle. I could see where this would eliminate a lot of cars. Pickup trucks with long wheelbases might not make this because it's a bit of a tight turn as you're rotating. Ah, this is a pretty remote road. Climbs pretty high, great for a Rubicon. Oh yeah. Steady as she goes. Shock absorbers. This is a fun road coming up. And here you can see, we're going through another color band. Make note of the color bands we pass through when you try and find it yourself. And there's the rock formation in the distance. We're about to start our aggressive rough turn off to the left where we go uphill. A lot of people would park at this point, but I think because we've got a Rubicon, we can make it through some of these cuts and slots and, oh yeah, we just take it slow, go through the deep washes. And notice we're going through several color bands of soil. That was one of the clues which helped me find this route. So let's come on up and enjoy that nice granite outcropping. That's what we have to look forward to. That's the same stuff that the arch had made up. Granite, the time does not weather like the rest of the rock. Now we see another transition to the color of the rock. Notice these color bands are the demarcation of where you can find the route to this. Thread in the needle on the ridge top here. Either side is kind of steep, and you gotta rotate on here. Almost 180 degree turn there. But man, it'd be worth it. This is a cool, cool road. And it looks like we're gonna get right to the arch. I mean, if it's like this the rest of the way, we're only gonna have a 100 foot walk. That was the last merge from a trail rather than a road. From here, let's see if we can make it through the gullies. Hoo -hoo. Oh yeah, this is gonna take some articulation. All right, this is the first of those berms and I did hear some dirt kicking up on the exhaust, but I've got quite a bit of clearance. It's been a little bit difficult to video while I'm needing two hands and trying to control. And <laughs> we made it through the bumpy wash, folks. Whoa. So we'll be creeping up, and that may have been the worst of it, but this wash can get serious. I see some tracked vehicles. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh oh guys we made it to the end of the road for jeeps unless i can climb that i'm gonna possibly just walk it from the rest of the way we are so close we are literally a couple hundred feet away from the crest this was a road but it appears to have been washed out i'm gonna walk up a little bit and see maybe if i climb guys scotty mac here and i have a ravine, it used to be a road, 
typical rain cut out in Arizona we have here. So we're so close, I am not gonna get to park at the crest and then drop down 100 feet, but we are so close. It's probably 200, 300 foot hike from here. So let's continue going on up and find it. There's the Jeep as far as we could go. Oh yeah, this was a road at one point. Now it's reduced to single track and widens out. But that pass is where we were headed. We are almost there. So everyone talks about a long hike to get here. <laughs> I don't think so. Not in a Jeep Rubicon. There's a good hint for you exactly where we are. You can see the surroundings. Let's continue on up to the pass here. And the arch should be just on the other side. Oh yes, this was a road at one time right up here, but erosion from the desert has taken its toll. And there it is between the two saguaro cactus. Whole bunch of staghorn choya, strawberry cactus, cool flora and fauna here. Let's go to the right. Couple more boulder scrambles and we're over there. So guys, I'm here at the Scorpion Arch, Scotty Mac Rubicon Adventure, and I wanted to give you the tips on how I found this. Now, Jerry Arizona and his whimsical sidekick, Tina, said there were a lot of hints online. I didn't find them. My searches yielded nothing. So I watched one of the YouTubers that had a drone video, and I noticed there were three points in the distance that I triangulated from. From there, I also noticed a very critical hint, the color of the soil. There's one color here which is very, very unique. If you look for that color and the peak of a mountain, you'll find it. Scotty Mac, Rubicon Adventure at the Scorpion Arch. Joshua Tree and Saguaro. Ve
So as we rise up, I see that the left side was the better choice to pass through, to come down. All right, you can see as I came up on this east side, it was much longer, but much better too. All right, there's the pass that went through the entrance. As I came down, I went through what I'll call the right side down there. It looked more direct to the arch. In reality, this left side traverses over and stays on the high points and then comes down that ridge there. Do not drop into the valleys. Stay on the ridge to follow it down. The valleys are filled with these sticker bushes which grab you. Jerry, Arizona and his whimsical sidekick Tina we remarked about that too. Heed them. They're absolutely correct. All right. We're at the top of the pass and you can see the white Jeep down there. Pass was actually less than from the pass down to the arch. Now there is a trick to get to the arch. From here, you want to go left. I proceeded down on the right. It seemed the most direct, but it also led you into the most foliage. And these bushes will grab and spike you like you wouldn't believe. Follow the ridge on the left for the best way to the arch. Now as we head out, you can see at one time, this was a road. Yeah, no one's been up here for 10 years or so. This washout has had a lot of time, but it wouldn't take much. Just two sections to smooth out or? Oh yeah, that's a good two, three feet of erosion. Make a road though. I want to let you know that I'm really happy to have the forward trail cam even though the 392 is a large vehicle and on some of these 180 degree curves on rises of the buttes that it takes to get here I can't see what's over the rise and it's just a few feet in front of me so it's easy to, it's very nice to have the forward camera and that allows me to see a lot more than my eyeballs can great option to have on the Jeep.